Hi guys, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at another enhancement of Oracle Integration Cloud, which is a new home page. So this new home page is a new enhancement in Oracle Integration Cloud and it brings a lot of new functionalities, including accelerators and recipes. So let's get started. So before I start, I will ask you to please subscribe my channel so that you can get latest notification in your notification list as soon as I publish a new video. I would like to update also that I have few courses on a Udemy which will help you to learn integration cloud, the process cloud service with real time examples and the integration cloud in depth course is accessible on this bitly link. You can see this and Process Cloud Service is also accessible on this link. And I have two more courses, one for API PCS, which is accessible on this particular link, which is mentioned below the course name. And that's another is the Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service, which is accessible on this particular link. Okay, so let's get started and see what all, what all features the new homepage brings. Oracle has launched a very interactive homepage as part of the August 2020 release and this you can get in OIC Gen 2 version 20.2.3.0.0 and this is the version where you will get the new home page. So if or it, the customers who are on the old OIC Gen 1 or on the OIC uh, the old version they will continue to see the old home page but yes sooner they will be migrated on the new home page and can enjoy the lot of new functionalities made as part of this release so this page this new home page is also known as mini dashboard which will allow you allows you to jump quickly like if you would like to see the matrix of the integration it will allow you to jump it uh, uh, there directly the status is you can switch to the process cloud service directly integration visual builder the and any other lot of things like the insights like the b2b and other things as well so the new home page gives you an ability to get jump started on building your integration that is called as accelerators and recipes so this home page brings new Features like accelerators and recipes. What is accelerators and what is recipes? Accelerators are run ready business integrations or technical patterns which you can configure and activate. There are a lot of accelerators are available which are ready to run. You just need to activate this, you just need to install this integration. You need to just configure this config, uh, uh, connections and other resources like lookups and uh, JavaScript. If this accelerator uh, is using all these features, then you just need to configure all these and you can start your integration in a minute or two. There's another feature called recipe. The recipes are the starter templates that gives you a head start. These are not end-to-end -end integration. They are just a sample which you can extend as per your business requirements. Let's take an example of recipe here. If you wanted to perform a synchronization between two applications like Oracle Sales Cloud and the Service Cloud, there's an inbuilt recipe for that which you can use and you can extend it in a minute or two and then it will help you also to how to make your integration out in very fast. So the same way there are other recipes as well. So let's try to understand the difference between accelerators and recipes. So what is accelerators? Accelerators are business accelerators provides an end-to-end -end business process or use case. A technical accelerator provides a common technical solution and they are meant to be called by another integration. Whereas recipes is a sample or template that gives you a head start. Accelerators are managed and supported by the producer, whereas the recipes are not supported by the producer. The accelerators may be a paid offering, whereas recipes are always free. Accelerators are upgraded by the producer, whereas recipe can't be auto upgraded to the new version. You have to have this upgrade yourself. 
so let's go to the new home page and see what are the new features available in new home page and then how to use this home page for this i will log in into the integration cloud and will show you a couple of things there here we go whenever you log in into the integration cloud you will be landed onto the home page and here you can see earlier there was a one more navigation called welcome now in this release the welcome navigation has also been removed and here if you go to the about section you can see in which version you will get this 20.2.3.0.0 so in this version you will get this new home page so here you can see the try a recipe like employee onboarding and then they have a process as well like travel approval you can try to run a demo here and which will show you how it works so it will check it will let you know what all step you need to take as part of this particular employee on onboarding so here you are subscribing the hcm atom feeds and you are sending this to the okta to create a new user so this is a recipe which you can install and you can enhance this recipe as per your requirement so here you can get started once you will get click on a get started it will take you to the accelerators and recipe page and here you can see the installed which means this is already installed i have installed it hence it is showing installed if it it would have not installed then you will get a button here like installation i will show you for another thing and if you go back here if you go to the i will take this uh, accelerator and recipe later let me show you all other new features like the summary right here in the summary you can see all the open task of the process cloud you can see the processes of last 24 hours and you can filter it out to bring it to like like last 7 days or last 48 hours it will show you how many instances got created in the last 7 days it will show you a um, the integration dashboard like how many messages you received and how many got failed and like how many are failed activation it show you the insights accelerators and recipes section will show you all the accelerators and recipes which is there inside the oracle integration cloud which you can simply click on this and you can install it i will show you so here you have a search all button which will allow you to search all the accelerators and the recipes under the oracle integration cloud so before i move forward I will before I show you this accelerator and recipe how to install it how to use it let me just bring all the, the other features like the recent activities it will show you what all recent activities you have taken place like this is the integration which you have just installed the rest API reimbursement application this is related to your process application the OIC application say and other integration and then processes here it will show you all the task which you need to uh, on which you need to take action and this section is related to the process cloud you simply can take it and it will take you to the task page to take an action there now you can quickly jump to the processes integrations b2b visual builder and then insights all are clickable if you click on any one of the uh, tiles it will take you to the particular application new request if you wanted to start a new request uh, related to the process cloud you can simply click on this and then a new request will be initiated here there are few links related to your related to the official documentation of oracle you can click on this and it will take you to the uh, documentation from where you can learn more and more now the important feature which is accelerators and the recipe as part of this new release okay let's try to click on this search all once you click on a search all it will show you all the recipes and accelerators right whatever recipe is there it is marked as a recipe if it is installed it will show you it is installed and if it is accelerator it will show you that it is an accelerator here you can see the alert notification is the accelerator and the resequence message is also an accelerator how you can just install it like just let's try to install this recipe so here if it is not installed it will show you the plus button which will allow you to install it and you can click on this which will show you 
all the details like the description, the name of the integration, the package name, and the type is the recipe, the version, and the keywords, the built by Oracle, published on, and then documentation. Okay, so let's just try to install this recipe. Click on this plus install button. This recipe will be installed, and here you can see the recipe Oracle HCM Cloud Identity Manage has been installed successfully. Okay. Now, if you go back here, go to the integration section, okay, integrations. You can see the Oracle HCM FTP directory synchronization RCP has been installed successfully. How you can configure it? Okay, so before I start, I will show you, just click on a open details. Again, it will show you what all connections are used like this is the schedule integration, this is the FTP connection, and this is the REST connection, and this is the Oracle HCM connection. Okay, so in order to configure this recipe, let, you just simply click on these three dots and then click on a configure. Once you click on a configure button, it will take you to the configuration editor page where it will show you the integrations, connections, certificates, lookups, and then libraries. It will show you all the artifacts or all the uh, uh, connections or the lookups and libraries used in this connection, right? So like it, it is using three connections. It is using one lookup and it is using libraries, one library, right? In order to configure the connection, you just go to the connections part and here you can see it is in that draft mode, right? You can simply click on this pencil icon to edit it or if you already have a HCM connection, you can replace it as well. If you click on this, it will open all the earlier connection which you have, like I have this connection, just click on this. Here you can see this has been uh, configured, right? And you just simply view details of this. Similarly, you can configure other connections as well. And then you can see the lookups. Here, this is the lookup, like this is the lookup which is used and this is the library which is used under this integration. Okay, so this is how you can configure it. Go back and then save it. Right, now you can see all the connections will be created there automatically. You don't need to create this connection manually. Let's go, let's go to the connections part. Like here you can see the FTP connection, HCM connection and the rest Okta. Similarly, you can go to the lookups section, which will show you all the lookups, uh, which is used by this particular integration here, right? Similarly, you can see the libraries as well. This one. Go back. Go back to the home page and here, similarly, you can install the accelerators as well. Like, Click on a search all. And here, let's try to install one accelerator as well. Here, click on this plus button. If you wanted to view details, you simply click on this open details, which will open this. Click on this install. Here you can see this has been installed. Okay, now, if you go down here, you can see the configure, you can see the activate, you can see the delete as well. Okay, you just simply click on this configure button. Again, it will take you to the configuration editor page where it will allow you to configure all the connections, all the resources which is used by this particular integration. Okay, go back here. Now let me just show you how big the recipes and then this thing are the accelerator if you open this you can see you can open this and now yes you can here you can see technical accelerators cannot be edited opening in a view mode right you cannot update the accelerators right so you can see how big the accelerators are so this is defined so this is designed by the oracle itself you can close it 
So this is how you can install it. If you wanted to uninstall, how you can do this? And you can see it is marked as accelerator and recipes, which indicate that this is the accelerator and this is the recipe. Go back to the home page, and here, if you wanted to uh, uninstall, how you can do this? Let's suppose I wanted to uh, uninstall this recipe. Just click on this uninstall, and then it will give you which version you wanted to uninstall and then click on this version and then uninstall. And here now you can see this has been uninstalled and here you can see the plus button, which means this recipe is not installed. Now it gives you the install button to install it. So this is all about the new home page of a particular indication cloud. Guys, I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to get latest notification in your notification list. As soon as I publish a new video, you can search me or LinkedIn, Twitter, my uh, Facebook page as well, and you can see my blogs over https colon slash www.taxsupper.com. Thank you. Bye bye.